I'll acknowledge. I would like to acknowledge few members you, who have all, who few guests and members who have come here for this get together. Mr. Zafar Chaudhary, a very good and sincere friend. Thank you. Very, very sincere friend. Chaudhary Gul Nawaz, again a very good and sincere friend. Thank Mr. Tariq Rashid, a big, big man with a lot of money. Uh, <laughs> overnight success, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Asif Khan, our national secretary yes, of the Asif Asif community. We already know Mr. Baljeet, the, 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 boss. the boss and the kingmaker. Uh, and the king I think that's true. Then is uh, Hadi Ali Chaudhary Saab, our national vice president. Muhtar Chima Saab, next to me, you can raise the hand. And he is a professor in our MDA University. Uh, then we have Abdul Ghaffar with, with the glasses on, and we, doing business here. Uh, Mr. Nisar Badach. Again, a businessman, Ishwak from the uh, 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 Brampton, from Bram oh, Brampton, okay. and the external affairs <laughs> secretary. The then we have Muntaz again, an immigration consultant. Then Ashraf Lodi, you already know. Oh, very well. <laughs> general, general, very famous journalist. Yes. Raja Shahzad, another businessman here, a famous businessman. Arjuman Maksud. He is a member of board of chamber and director board of chamber Lahore, oh, Pakistan. Wow. Oh Pakistan. Yes. And Majid Chaudhary, you already know. Of course, <laughs> I'm honored that you came. I would now like to request Mr. Asif Khan Sahib if you could say a few words. <laughs> so I'll be quick. I think, um, you know, thank you on behalf of everyone. Uh, <clears throat> I think I remember back in 2016 when His Holiness came and you came to visit and uh and, very well. and uh he he made it very clear that um you know our friendship is with you so that was uh obviously gave us clear direction <clears throat> with regards to some of the stuff that you said earlier um the, the amity community giving back first i want to just acknowledge there's a bunch of powerhouse folks in the room so thank you for being here um obviously you've got some great connections in in mississauga and they're all here to support you uh, but with regards to our community um we kind of abide by and we, we go with the two very real lessons of Islam. Islam teaches you, one, to have a relationship with God. Not how to have a relationship with God, but you should have a relationship with God. So that's always first and foremost. And sometimes people forget that we always want, you know, somebody to be a certain way or whatever. And the second is to give back and to be, um, you know, supportive of humanity. And I think that's that, you know, the cornerstone of our community. And that's why that love for all hatred for none, that's where it comes from. And you'll always be able to count on the community. Um, if it's things like the run for Mississauga or the food drives, et cetera, we'll always be there to try and help. Uh, we try to punch above our weight wherever we can. Obviously, we're a small community, um, but we, you know, we do more than, than we try, you know, than we're able to. We raised $22,000 last week at the run. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, just, yeah just so you know that there's uh, 18 runs that were held this year across Canada. We raised half a million dollars for various different uh, charities across the country. So, Amazing. yeah, and this is uh, an initiative of the youth organization. Uh, with regards to an ask, like if there is an ask from the community, um, usually, you know, as you mentioned, your municipal is closest to us with regards to zoning, etc. Um, but if there's land available for building faith communities or faith centers, that's always, you know, on the top of our mind. So if you could, you know, be in touch with uh, Mr. Qureshi or Mr. Big with regards to anything that, you know, you find that becomes available, we'd always be interested in, you know, securing it. So, so we can work with my economic development office. Um, Mississauga, the city, has no more land, has no more land. Um, there are groups that do, like the Orlando Corporation, they have a big land bank. So they have the most 7,000 uh, acres, yeah, largest. And then there are parcels that are a surplus from the federal provincial government. The one that, in, the one that I'll speak of is the one, we call it Andy Bathgate, it's a driving range 403 in Eglinton on the southeast corner. So that I know they're going to sell, and we've asked them to sell at less than market at provincial government so that we can accommodate more affordable housing, seniors housing, long-term care. So that's something we could look at too. Um, but you, you want it for schools, mosques, or for seniors? Well, mosque too? slash community center. You know, we, it needs to be kind of an all, all in one side. School. For school. <clears throat> so I'll leave that, you know, that's not something we'll, we, we we'll get to, done today, right? Yeah, but, we have to uh, think about yeah. that. Keep that in mind where, where, where there's availability. 
I know you've got a few uh, busy couple of days, but all the best to you, you. and uh, on behalf of the community, thanks for being here. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Uh, I would also like to acknowledge your people, Hal Hal. Yes. Again, a very Thank prominent you. figure yes. of Mrs. Saga, and thank you very much. You are very close to our heart. Not Saga, whole country. Yes, yes, yes. I uh, would now like uh, the few individuals who would like to present the checks. And first is a check uh, from Amir Rajeshazad to please come over and present the check. <laughs> 